Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. to stick this back in not the queen of wands again <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on is this a different energy damn is this a different energy no see i'm telling y'all man do we need to uh put... i guess we need to the queen of wands again damn <laughs> i don't want i'm done with this It's been Queen of Wands all day today. And the first one popping out and shit. Like, come on. What we need to know? The sun. <sighs> what we need to know? Somebody wanted to be about them, honey. Like, <sighs> so we have the Queen of Wands, and then we got the Sun, and then we got the Eight of Swords. This person, some type of trap could have been illuminated, or this person could be, you know, caught up instead of healing. Something illuminated. This person may even end up in jail, too. This person also could be in some sort of superficial partnership. Yeah, King of Wands. This person is partnered up with a King of Wands to the Hermit. Could be an Aries Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. We got the Ace of Wands and the Devil. One of these people could be doing something spiritually to try to oppress somebody's energy. Do something cruel to um do something cruel to oppress another. This man could be, if, if this is not a relationship, this is some sort of partnership with an Aries Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, these people might end up in jail. These, these people might end up in spiritual jail or um, physical jail. Yeah, this shit. You could somebody is mad because you keep escaping the towers that they keep trying to. <laughs> you keep you you keep escaping you keep escaping the tower, but it's your destiny. It's your destiny. Somebody wants your destiny or something. Somebody wants your destiny or somebody want to change something in your destiny. They don't want you to get any attention or. They don't want you to be skilled. They don't want you to have a new life. Somebody is trying to control you. Somebody is trying to control a queen of cups. And it's a, a Aries Leo Sagittarius a Gemini woman here. And then there's this man that she's partnered up with working with. She's either in a relationship with this person or some sort of business partnership where they are trying to suppress your energy and do something fucking cruel. 
and it's a secret. This is a secret partnership that ain't nobody supposed to know about what is going on here, what's going on spiritually. They trying to suppress somebody's divine energy, right? So, but you keep escaping these towers and this person trying to control because it's your destiny. Can't nobody change your destiny. The fuck? It's your fucking destiny. The fuck? <laughs> For real, like this shit is like wicked as hell. Somebody is so thirsty to change your destiny. It's not going to fucking happen. Let it the fuck go. They're destined to be for for them to be in the spotlight or they're destined to have skill or they're destined to have a new fucking life and ain't nothing nobody going to do to change that. No matter how you try to uh, suppress the energy, no matter how you try to oppress this person, no matter how cruel you try to be to this person and do cruel and ignorant shit to them spiritually to try to trap them, they're going to escape it every time. This Queen of Cups is going to escape it every time they're intuitive. See, these people didn't expect this tower. They didn't expect this change. They didn't expect this person to get the victory over their punk asses. But it is. That's what's happening. This person is protected. This person is getting a victory over quite a few people, too, with divine truth, clarity, and power. They're getting victory over um, a king of swords. There could be a cancer, masculine, and or feminine, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Did they um, get in the victory over this person? Could be a cop. This person could work in law enforcement. This person has secret dealings here. They getting a victory over somebody's mom or baby mama. Uh, they getting a victory over um, a masculine's mama or something like that. Listen, with divine truth, clarity, and power, the truth. And what these people been doing. They getting a victory over all these people. This person could have several partnerships where they was trying to go up against this woman. In secret though. Nah. Somebody also could be seeing the truth now about something too. Somebody could also be seeing the truth and getting clarity about something. Maybe this. Uh, yeah, something is coming into balance here. The divine stepping in. The divine stepped in with this divine power here. But the attention could be being brought to this king of swords. There could be even a high priestess involved. There could be somebody mom involved and another masculine. This person could be a business owner or somebody, but they even get in the truth about something. They're seeing something clear. And this, this person could have had all of these partnerships with these people. And at a point in time, maybe these people could have tried to cause you some sort of tower or whatever the case may be. But this could also be you. You are in your authority. You are equipped to overcome all of these obstacles. You are intuitive. You are connected to a higher power. You are a goddess energy. You are a warrior. And you wield divine truth, power, and wisdom, and balance, and knowledge. And the divine going to step in for you every freaking time. And somebody tries to block you off, hold you back, take your energy. Somebody been just waiting and gathering ideas on how they could stab your ass in the back, seven of swords communicating with somebody else these people could have even communicated together and they're under judgment for it judgment has been called on this yes judgment has been called on this because how dare y'all y'all messing with somebody who has a higher purpose and a destiny somebody who is connected to a higher power and somebody that is divine so hell yeah this shit gonna balance out how it's supposed to balance out See, D 
these people was lied to. And this could be why they looked at you as an enemy and stabbed your ass in the back. And then you could have been holding back your energy with the four of pentacles. So, I mean, this is also how things started to manifest and people started to see because you was holding back your energy. So you're not in the mix. You're just out here to show who you is. But yeah, judgment is being called on the action that was taken. Somebody was putting their teachings to use here with the uh, knave of swords and then the moon, deceptive, hidden intention, hidden motive. And they was passionate about it too, putting their talents to service or having somebody else put their talents to service. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Because I'm sick of this energy. No. Yeah, I'm tired of this energy. But just know, judgment has been called on what this person has been doing. This superficial, unawakened, this person life force is restrained. This person tries to come off as confident. This person tries to come off as peace, love, and joy, but they're not. They superficial as fuck, and they're unawakened. And they try to oppress divine energies. They even tried to oppress somebody's creativity too as well, but somebody just kept escaping the traps. Kept escaping. We have give thanks to Yahweh for his love, for Yahweh love endures forever. We have here enjoyed the little things for one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. Yahweh is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. The words of Yahweh are pure. See, that's why the divine stepped in. Because you was in trouble with this person and who they was linking up with and partnering up with and the cruelty that they was doing and everything that they was trying to do to change stuff within your life. We have here, it, just even authority figures was involved here. Authority figure, somebody mama, baby mama, another masculine here. You know, somebody here that was being cruel that can mess with and do stuff with energy spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So the divine stepped in to help you. It says here, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to Yahweh. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Yahweh, make me dwell in safety. Yahweh watches over all who love him. And you are love. We have here with your very own hands you form me. No breathe your wisdom over me. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? So y'all thought we was going to go into the... <laughs> I thought we was going to go into the energy that was popping out in that last read, but the Queen of Wands wasn't done yet. But done now, though, because I ain't... You pop out again, I ain't reading it. <laughs> you pop out again, I ain't reading it. Whoever you are, you have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Sa or Sagittarius highly aspected in your chart. You can have every element in your chart.
So, I hope you all got a message from that read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.